Hello Leo and welcome to your May 2016 Zodiac Tarot reading. I've drawn five cards for you. First card up is Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the energy for the upcoming month to the upcoming moon phase is going to center around family, family money, money issues within the family, uh, familial connections that extend throughout several generations. And I want to look at this card just a minute for just a closer look. Uh, for many of you, there's going to be branches of the branches of the family that are favored and branches that are not so favored. So there's a feeling of um, uh, something that's not quite fair and, and the scales of justice popped into my mind. Also, um, it can also is coming through the idea of a family group or setting an immediate family being separated from the main branch um, through locality, through a move. Um, through distance, through um, possibly a distance of time, but also a physical distance. Um, there's kind of like a desire to reconnect with your roots for some of you. Um, there's a feeling of ancestry. There's a feeling of, of um, research. There's a feeling of reconnecting with something very surprising from your past, whether it is um, deals with spirituality or ethnicity. Um, or uh, some other very unique um, uh, situation that comes to mind and it, it sheds new light and adds a new dimension to your family and to the your family background cool card number two for leo the Wheel of Fortune. This card did come up reversed. It's like your luck is changing. So Leos, if you've been having a string of good luck, uh, you wanna watch where you spend your money, how you gamble, if you're playing games, what you're doing, because um, the idea that your luck is changing means it's gonna change from whatever it's been running on to something new. Uh, for those of you in the opposite end of the spectrum who seems to have had a run of bad luck, well, Lady Luck is gonna step into your life and things are going to pick up. Um, I also have the very strong feeling of um, a strength within the three phases, the three stages, the three stages of the goddess or the three stages of the god, if you're a male watching this, through the goddess, the maiden, the mother, the crone, uh, through the god, the green man, the horn god, and the sage. Um, also, with our first card for family, it's also a blending of generations. These three phases of life, both for male and female, through both the god and the goddess, it's like a reconnecting again with the idea of family, and it's something very generational. Um, something very pivotal for a lot of you Leos connected to family. Okay, the next card, card number three, that's up for you. Five of Swords, it did come up reversed. Uh, this means that my first impression and first hit for the Ten of Pentacles uh, has to do with family money, um, uh, inheritance, uh, wills, dividing money, dividing property. The Five of Swords is a card of squabbles. Um, a little harsher than the Five of Wands. There's like victors here, but there's victors who will win the battle and lose the war. There's others who will lose the battle, but in the end, you'll win the war. So um, hang, hang on for that. Uh, there's also the feeling of coming out on top. Someone's gonna come out on the top of this, this uh, family money, family drama. Um, and it seems as though it's generational. It's as though an older section of the family is either passing on or has passed on already, most likely. And there are things that are being um, finished up. And, it, and it's disruptive to the family and the way things have run for decades and decades and decades because, because the, the next generation is stepping up. The next generation um, uh, is stepping up to become the older generation in a family. It's a generational thing. It's like um, a new taking of charge. It's a new running of the ship. It's a new way of doing things. Card number four for Leo. Eight of Swords, this did come up reversed. Um, for some of you Leos, not for all of you Leos, this big reflux, everything that we've talked about, all these changes, they are actually going to be a release for some of you. There are some of you who maybe didn't like the way things were being done or handled within the family on a financial basis. Um, 
uh, or through a generations and uh, with family money, family businesses, wills, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, checking accounts, savings accounts, um, CDs, stocks and bonds. Uh, there's actually a release. So uh, I do, and I don't know. I'm just like getting the the idea of or one of someone who's always been very miserly with the money and controlled the family that way, and all of a sudden, woohoo! It's like. Um, it's like it's like the ties have been cut and things are turned loose now so it's like people who are being controlled with money or who uh, want to have more say in how it's handled or how it's spent who it goes to etc etc it's like it's gonna free something up this whole thing is going to like free something up especially for an individual who may have felt trapped within this situation this feels like a really very personal reading for what should be a very a general reading. Uh, the last card, the fifth card for you, Leo, is the Eight of Wands. It did come up reversed. Um, so all that we've talked about and all that will transpire is, is going to be a very slow evolution. The um, Eight of Wands for me is all about how fast or slow everything we've looked at is going to move. So when it's reversed, things are going to take their time. There's uh, probably more than likely with the things that have come up, it's because there are procedures to follow. There are um, certain ways of doing things and finishing things up and tying up business and taking care of issues that we've talked about that take time. It's not like an overnight snap the fingers thing, but change is coming. And that is where I'm going to stop this reading for Cancer for May 2016. Oh, for Leo, for Leo. And if this drives you nuts when I'm doing these videos, it would drive you nuts to talk to me personally because I do this all the time.